Hi guys, so this is Glenn again. So for today's video, I will discuss on how will you know if your client is legit or not. Because I have seen a lot of posts regarding with this thing, if how they will know if that client that they applied for is legit. And then I have received a lot of message regarding on how they will know if the client they applied is legit. Alright, so let's get started. That. so number one check their accounts try to stop their facebook and the freelance platform such as upwork online jobs if they have any previous transaction reviews and comments to check if they are legit and on facebook try to stop them if their facebook is up to date and if it's suspicious so meaning before you apply to any platform try to check first the account of your client if they had a previous transaction reviews and comments of their employee or virtual assistant that's matter because you will observe or notice if this client is legit because this client had a virtual assistant before that's why no need to think twice just pass a proposal because this client is legit and then if someone message you to your facebook about this job just make sure also to stock them to stock the facebook of that client because you didn't know if this client is legit unless you check and then Make sure to check the post recently in order to know if this client is a scammer or legit. And then make sure the Facebook is up to date and then make sure to check also the friends if this particular client has a many uh, friends. That's one thing that you need to check. Alright, so number two. Do not give any personal information. In case you get hired, do, do not give your account credentials, any confidential documents such as birth certificate, passport, etc. As it will lead to scam the account that can be used to harm you or use it in any money laundering out there and use your details to the victim, other people, the victim, other people. So, meaning... If you get hired, don't ever, ever give your personal information, information such as, let's say, your uh, Facebook account, your bank account. Don't give that to your client because your client might get that all and then scam you. And then you didn't know if they will use this to scam also other people using your personal information and then suddenly you will be affected or harm you because the name that you provided is in your details that's why you need to be careful when you are giving an information the information that you need to uh, give such as email would be great email and then uh, let's say paypal email that will be great just in case your client will be give you a pay that's the information that you need to do just make sure to avoid give this information all right so that you will not be scammed so number three client asking for money if your client is asking for money, just think twice if you will continue your employment with that client. Because in the first place, client will not ask for money for yours. Your client will be the one who will give you money because they hired you and will pay because of your work. So, meaning, if your client asking for money and then think twice if you would continue your employment here 
because you 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 hide because you need to uh, you need to pay by your client not not your and then meaning you are not giving a money to the client because you are the one who are looking for a money that's why you need to uh, think twice be before you give any money or if you will pursue your application here because in the first place the client will not ask for money because you are the employee you should be the one who will ask for your money because you are the worker here all right so number four wrong gram grammatical and spelling errors if you receive a message or email from the clients and it has many grammatical errors errors your reader should be on alert because this could be the signs that the message isn't coming from a, le a legit source that's why you need to be observant in every message or email that you receive to avoid scam so basically you need to check the email and then the message that you receive because you didn't know if this is legit or not just make sure to check the spelling or the grammar if it is correct because that's the thing that this client is is scam or or not legit because you will notice if the grammar or spelling is wrong and then if the uh, if the sentence or the paragraph is correct you will notice it and then if you have doubt that this client that this grammatical error or spelling error is very wrong you need to think critical if you will pass your application here or try or message her him back that's why you need to be observant all right if the email or message of this client is correct so number five as one so offers that sound too good to be true if the client makes an offer that sounds too good to be true such as on the spot job offer even though they are not interviewed you scammers target the people who love free things to the extent that you will be blinded to traps when trying to obtain them if you experience this thing think critically before you take some action do your own research to learn more about the offer before you agree if you don't you might get scam so what does what does it mean imagine you are just starting in freelancing and then this client offer you let's say 50 hours per day i mean per hour 50 dollars per hour and then the offer sounds too good to be true right so you just need to think critical if this client is saying the truth why because they might get your information to use it and then to harm you eventually eventually the uh, details or information that the client get with you will be used to harm other people that's why before you accept the offer you need to do your homework you need to do some research if this let's say you're applying for social media manager and the offer is too high try to research it first if this offer is for beginner expert you will know that in yourself that's why you need to do your homework or research it because they are they are attacking the newbie or the people 
who love free things and then to the extent that you are desperate to get this client and then give all the information and then suddenly you didn't know that you get scam because you trap or you blinded to traps because you are desperate on getting this client that's why you need to do your research first all right so i think uh that would do it for now if you have any uh, question don't forget to subscribe like and comment for any question and then see you in my next freelance video bye